Hello, everyone. My name is Tintin Li, and this video is for the class EL6825 pattern recognition. My project is face recognition using principal component analysis and support vector machine. So, um, first, I will uh, have a brief introduction of face recognition and then give the introduction of the ORL database of faces and then I will talk to about the technique I use which is principal component analysis and support vector machine after this I will go through the uh, face recognition process of my project and also uh, show my project on MATLAB platform and at last give the conclusions so for the face recognition, it can be used for the identification or verification of human faces from a digital image or video image. And it can also apply to a wide variety of problems like criminal identification, security systems, image and film processing, and also the human-computer interaction. Since much of the work in computer recognition of faces has focused on detecting individual features such as the eyes, nose, mouth, and head outline, and the picture shows the key part of human faces that we can recognize. And for face recognition, most um, face recognition process can be divided into those three key steps. The first one is detection and rough normalization of faces. And the second one is feature extraction and accurate normalization of faces. And the last step is identification and verification. So for identification is to decide when um, if, the if the image is a human face or not a human face. For verification process is to determine if the image is from the known person or from an unknown person. So in my project I use the ORL database of faces and the ORL databases contains 400 face images which belongs to 40 distinct individuals and for each individual, the pictures were chosen from different times, different light conditions, and different visual expressions. So the faces, images in the database, either open eyes or closed eyes, smelling or not smelling, and if there are glasses or no glasses on face. And all the images were taken against a dark homogeneous background with the subjects in an upright frontal position and the ima image size is 112 plus 92 pixels and I chose 200 images uh, to for the training side and 25 for the texting side and this one is the ORL databases of faces and in my projects, the key part is the algorithm, which is the principal component analysis and support vector machine. So first, we will uh, say uh, talk about the principal component analysis. The PCA involves projecting the face images from a high dimension to a significantly lower dimension. And this lower dimension images are called eigenphases. Eigenphases are a set of eigenvectors used in human face recognition. We can treat those eigenvectors as a set of features that can summarize the variation between the training face images. When displayed eigenvectors, it looks like a sort of ghostly face and we call it eigenphase. So any human face can be considered to be a combination of these standard faces. And this shows the set of the wagon uh, of the eigenface that I derived from my project. And another algorithm we need to use is support vector machine. 
In support work machine is a classification method that trying to find the maximum distance between two datasets and separate them. By searching for an optimal separating hyperplane between the two datasets, SVM algorithm can separate two, two datasets with maximum distance. And also, the support vectors are defined as bonds between data. For this class, we use the multi-class SVM. And for multi-class VM, it has one against one and one against all strategy. For one against one method, uh, each class we calculate the distance between it and all the remaining classified between one versus all. And for one was this one method. We find the distance between each pair and classify between them. And in this project, we use the one against one method for face recognition system. And also, um, I used the lab SVM library, uh, the method SVM train and SVM predict to train my SVM classifier. So now um, for the face recognition process, since we first read the data from the OIL face database, and then we can do the face feature extraction, use the PCA to reduce the dimensionality, and then uh, use the eigen faces we extract, extract to train the SVM classifier. So uh, after all this done, then we can read the unknown faces like from the user input and then to do the feature matching. Use SVM to classify the incoming images and to decide which class it belongs to and then make the decision, find the most accurate one and then output the result. So now I will show my project on MATLAB. Now run the project. So in this project, uh, we can see we have two functions. The first one is choose the photo you want to recognize and the second one is capture pictures from camera. So first, uh, I can show the first function, like choose the photo you want to recognize. And now it opens the folder and we select the trim data folder, like random select one folder. And then it can show the picture we chose and the recognized picture which has the most accurate rate with the picture we chose. And it also shows the eigenphases of the faces. And also, like, I add my picture as the 41 picture in the ORL database. I add 10 images of myself and added it to the 41's folder and we can show that the recognition as I chose one picture of myself and then it can show the most accurate picture that it recognized so it's good and now I want to show the second part which is capture from camera and this is the capture system so we can open the camera capture photo and then close it and then so we can choose the photo Here, like, like the last one, mm. 
and then it shows the result. So it works. Yeah, and that is my projects. So for the conclusion part, in my project, I apply the face extraction method on the ORL face databases. And also, I implemented a successful, efficient face recognition system using TCA plus SVM method in MATLAB, lab, uh, in MATLAB platform. And also, the error rates will decrease for all algorithms with an increase in the number of train samples. And for my method, as PCA plus SVM approach is performed better than the PCA approach. The PCA plus SVM algorithm can reach a 90% correct identification rate, uh, whereas PCA algorithm can achieve a 70% correct identification rate. So that means that my algorithm works and it can perform the good results. Yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching and thank you.